Well, I decided I'm going to open one up. Uh, I'll save these two in their boxes right now, but I'm going to open one up. So uh, I didn't film it, but I took some uh, I took some pictures, uh, took it over to the um, milling machine and, and cut away the uh, corners of the metal so I could pry it apart. And what I found inside was uh, a potting material. Now, from the heft of it, I assumed it was potted. Uh, so it looks like this. Uh, I'll zoom in a little farther in a second. Uh, but it is a block of stuff. It's not what I thought. I thought it was going to be a mechanical filter. It's actually an electrical filter. It's got inductors and capacitors in it. So that's all it is. Um, I guess a, a giveaway would have been uh, this uh, uh, writing on the outside. Um, even though it's a Collins part, they didn't build it. They had it manufactured by the Chicago Standard Transformer Corporation. So the transformer should have led me to believe that maybe it's something else. Although this company like that could have been doing their mechanical filters too, so you never know. But it does look like, and it's sticky. It's like candy. Uh, what's that stuff called? Uh, sugar Daddy? No. I guess it's Sugar Daddy. They're really, really sticky, hard candy. Um, yeah, let me, let me zoom down a bit. All right, I think you can see, uh, get the lighting right here. I think you can see one inductor here. It's a toroid, toroid inductor. And uh, in the middle is a PC board. Uh, looks like phenolic. And some wires. On the other side are two other inductors. Um, the uh, sticky goo had a thin plastic sheet around it, a clear plastic sheet around it, so uh, so it would slide into the, uh, or I don't know why they had it in there. Why didn't they just fill it? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, it had that around it. Uh, so I guess they put that in the uh, can and then they poured the goo in and then sealed the top on, uh, the top is soldered on. Um, I don't know if I can take it apart much further because it's really, it's the stuff that just, it, 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 it sometimes you can see it, 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 it's kind of, it, it, it flows. I mean, it's like candy. It really is like candy. Uh, uh, it flows. So, I mean, I could sit here for all day and pick it apart like an anthrop or a uh, paleontologist and, uh, uh, <laughs> try to, try to open it up, but I don't think I'm going to learn much. Uh, there is some interesting capacitors in here. Maybe I can dig down to see who made those capacitors. Um, they look green in color, which is interesting. And uh, yeah, anyway, uh, that's what's inside. I know everybody wanted to see it. I wanted to see it. <laughs> so like I said, this is the freebie one, right? So this is like karma. I, I was told you must open one of them. Um, it does work good though. I wondered if uh, we couldn't maybe do this in spice or something and see if we couldn't come up with a equivalent filter if we had uh, three, three inductors of pretty, uh, lots of millihenries, at least, at least 500 millihenries, I would guess. Uh, Probably more, more like a thousand millihenries just from the size and number of winding those inductors has. If you get down to 800 hertz, you're going to need a lot of henrys. Um, so, yeah, I think there's a lot of wire in here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the uh, sacrifice here. And uh, there's probably somebody screaming, I need that to rebuild my radio and you just destroyed one of them. <laughs> oh, well, there it is. All right, uh, I'm doing a little more destruction here. I decided to use my uh, my surface mount rework station to melt this wax. I assume it's a wax. Uh, it does melt, but it doesn't melt easily.
It is nice though to uh, kind of flam polish the uh, surface so we can read underneath it. Like this capacitor says 100 volts DC on it, which is interesting. There you go. A little bit of melt going here. I apologize if anybody's squirming saying, no, you're killing it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this is going to take, take a long time and I don't think I'm going to really learn much. Might make a nice time-lapse photography thing, all right? <laughs> I'm not going to sit out here and do this. No. It ain't going to happen. It'd be nice to be able to read a value off the capacitor, though. Let's, the capacitors are rotated, so I can't read the darn values. Let's turn it around. See that? Yeah, it's hard to. I would have to completely disassemble it. It's better to try to reverse engineer it in spice. Not that I really care. But if I really needed to know. I think I would go into spice and limit myself to three inductors and see what I could come up with. It's probably three inductors and five capacitors, right? There's at least three inductors and three capacitors. I can see that. So at least that much. Yeah, this stuff's just not, not melting nicely. Where were I? 240. I guess I could increase the temperature a bit. All right, let's take it to 300. Let's see what happens. This is my uh, second hard air station. My first one self-destructed. Never did work right. Even out of the box, it was brand new. It just never worked right. This one seems to work just fine. Yeah, this is just going to take too long. Just going to take too long. Yeah, see that stuff? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. That's all you're going to get. <laughs> Messy. Uh-oh. Now I've got the goo stuck. Oh God! <laughs> See, this is why you don't. This is why you don't do things. Oh God! I guess I shouldn't have put it on this towel. Well, oh, that's a loss. 